Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. With her unique blonde pigtails and ditzy charm, Suzanne Summers captivated the country. Her comedic timing as Chrissy on the hit sitcom Three's Company helped launch her as one of the most popular women on television in the late 70s. Well, this is typical getting a girl pregnant. Only a man would do a thing like that. But her life was so much more than her dumb blonde persona. She turned her star making role into a one woman empire, morphing into an infomercial queen. Bye, Master. We may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. Best selling author and self proclaimed expert on alternative medicine. She always was an extremely popular figure. But she found a way to monetize that popularity in a way so many famous people would after her. Kind of a Kardashian 1.0. The day before her 77th birthday, she passed away peacefully, surrounded by family, including her devoted husband of 46 years, Alan Hamill. Born in 1946 in San Bruno, California, Summers began acting in the late 60s. Her first credited role, the blonde driving the white Thunderbird in George Lucas's 1973 film, American Graffiti. But her life changed when she landed the role of Chrissy, one of three platonic roommates on Three's Company. I always say it's the little homey touches that make a home homier. I was always really proud of that character because she had a moral code. She wouldn't take your husband or boyfriend. She'd never lie to you. The ABC show became a smash hit and Summers became a household name. She spoke to Barbara Walters in 1979. Do you think of yourself as sexy? Yeah, but I am. Yeah. yeah, my husband thinks I'm sexy and I believe him. But Summers left the show on bad terms after just five seasons. She says she demanded to be paid the same as her male co-star, John Ritter. I was the first female who asked to be paid parody with men and I got shot down, so. Who would have thought that Christy Snow would be the feminist? <laughs> when she held out to get more money from Three's company, but that really paved the way for more primetime stars to insist that they get paid what they're worth. Also, that more women uh, get paid what they were worth as opposed to what men were getting. But back in 1981, Summers was written off the show. My career was dead because the public got mad at me for being greedy. And really what I was asking for, I still think that I deserved it. She was seen as kind of a pariah, and there was a lot of question as to what she would do to get back in showbiz after that. But Summers found a way forward. I felt sorry for myself, maybe for the first time in my life, for a year. And then one day, I heard a voice, I hear voices, and it said, why are you focused on what you don't have? Why don't you focus on what you do have? And then my voice in my head said, you have enormous visibility. Everybody in this country knows your name. And then I thought, God, we can do something with that. With her manager turned husband by her side, Summers took her talents to Las Vegas, starring in her own variety show. Yes, he's a tramp. I adore him. And proudly leveraged her famous face and signature good looks to become a savvy marketer and infomercial royalty, most famously for the Thigh Master. It became a phenomena, and we ended up selling over 10 million Thigh Masters. Summers continued to work in Hollywood, appearing in TV shows and movies, including the hit 90s show Step by Step with Patrick Duffy, which ran for seven seasons. This keeps up. I'll be walking around here buck naked. I have no problem with that. Buck. Summers never shied away from her age. You know what this is, Suzanne? That's the fountain of youth. <laughs> yeah, right, you right. own it, apparently. I spoke with her in 2012 at her home in Palm Springs. Celebrities would never sit down and say, I'm 65. Right, right. Look at me. So I'm saying that because I want you one day when you're this age to go, uh, Suzanne did it. I, I, I can do it too. Embodying the mantra, you're only as old as you feel, at 68, she lit up the stage on Dancing with the Stars. I honestly love my age. I love it.
I look forward to next year. As long as I can still wear my high heels <laughs> and my short skirts. <laughs> Summers insisted that her vitality came from a non-traditional approach to health and wellness. She wrote 25 books on the subject, including 14 bestsellers, at times drawing controversy. Some of what Summers advocates in her books is not backed up by the mainstream medical community. Yeah, everybody's different. All I can do is put it out there. I feel that by example, others will want what I have. In 2000, she was first diagnosed with breast cancer. This July, Summers announced her breast cancer had returned, writing on Instagram, I know how to put on my battle gear, and I'm a fighter. The night before she died, Summers read a poem from her husband, which he shared on Instagram, describing their love. There are no words, there are no actions, no promises. We are one. I am in love with you, my beautiful Suzanne, for all of eternity. The message is be grateful for the highs and be grateful for the lows, because it's in the lows where you learn. When you're down here and you got the blues and nothing's going your way, that's the opportunity right in there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.